Hi, my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own 420 pop art. If you're new here welcome if you've been here before thank you so much for stopping back by to paint with me today so today we are going to be creating a 420 pop art painting now if you do not like 420 if you are not 420 friendly this painting is still super cute still fun so you can definitely still do it and change it up a bit but if you absolutely do not like 420 or smoke at all go ahead and scroll past this tutorial so one of my most popular videos was my pop art painting and I've been wanting to do another one. So I thought that 420 would be the perfect time to create a really fun, cute and simple 420 pop art painting. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we get started, as always, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss the next tutorial. So before we get started on our painting, I'm going to go over everything that I'm going to be using. As always, I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Remember, you can use this canvas size of your choice. We are gonna be doing a little bit of drawing today, so you wanna make sure that you have a pencil and or a permanent marker. Now, the pencil is optional, but you wanna make sure that you have a permanent marker for this one because we're gonna need our lines to stand out. We wanna make sure that our drawing is really prominent, so you wanna make sure that you have a black permanent marker. You also wanna make sure that you have a water cup with cool water for your brushes a few different sized acrylic paint brushes and a rag or some napkins to dry them off on. And I am working with acrylic paint. So today I'm using the colors phalo blue, bright red, titanium white, chrome yellow, Mars black, and burnt sienna. And as always, all of the supplies are listed in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, I am going to start by drawing out my um, painting, drawing out my picture that I'm going to be painting. You can draw yours out with pencil first just to make sure that you get all your lines correct and it'll be easier to erase any mistakes. And then you can draw over your pencil marks with a black Sharpie marker. Or if you're confident in your drawing, you can use the black Sharpie marker. But no matter what, you want to make sure that you do your drawing in a black Sharpie marker because we want these lines to stand out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw her face in. Now her face is going to be pretty much kind of taking up a good chunk of the canvas. So I'm going to start at the middle up here at the top. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to curve a line down. And I'm going to start to curve it back. Now I'm not going to take it all the way off the canvas. I'm going to stop a little bit before the edge of the canvas and I'm going to take this line up. So now we have the shape of her face in. Now I want to add in some details on her face. So the first thing I want to add in is her nose. Her nose is going to be a bit higher up and the first thing I'm going to draw it's going to be almost like a sideways like comma or a raindrop. So I'm just starting with the line like that and then I'm going to curve it back because we just want to make like a little bit of her nostril. I'm going to do also the outside of her nose by simply making a curve. And then I want to repeat that curve so that I end up with almost like the shape of a crescent moon. And I'm going to do that again. This time I'm going to do it in front of the nostril. I'm going to make a curve and then repeat that curve to make almost like, again, a crescent moon. Now I'm going to move down and I want to make her lips. Now she's going to be smoking. If you don't want the smoking, you can always just make a pair of full lips, but I'm going to have her lips open because she's going to have some smoke coming out. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just make a mark where I'm starting at, and then I'm going to go up and curve over. And I'm not going to do anything up here from that point. I'm going to actually do the bottom lip. So I'm going to start back at that same point. And this time I'm going to go down and curve up. It's almost like I'm making the shape of a sideways heart, but the heart is, I'm not going to close the heart off. So once you have that, the next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to start back at this line here and I'm going to simply pull a line going back. I'm going to now pull another line, but I'm not going to actually pull it to this 
ending point of my lip here. I'm going to start a bit before because now I want to add in what she's going to be smoking. So for this part, super, super simple. It's just going to be like the shape of a rectangle. All I'm going to do is just close this off and I'm going to pull two lines out. Now, I didn't close this line off yet because I want to make it more like a curve. So I'm not just going to pull a line straight down. I'm going to actually curve it off like that. Now I'm going to add in some smoke. You can add as much smoke or as little as you'd like. It's completely up to you. But all I'm doing is like making the cloud. So I'm going to start from the end here. And I'm just going to do some different curves going up. I'm going to come over with some more curves and just take it right off the canvas and then i'm going to do the same thing at the bottom except i'm just going to take it right off the canvas this time so i'm just going to do some curves and take it right off the canvas so now we have the little cloud there now we want to add in her fingers because of course she's going to be holding what she's smoking so for this part i am going to actually start at the bottom so right like under her chin i'm going to do a curve here so it's almost like I made like a little heel or almost like a like a little triangle there but I just curved it right under her chin and from there I'm gonna pull up two fingers well before I pull up the two fingers let's close off her body so I'm gonna pull a line down for her neck so everything back here is her face her neck and right here is actually a piece of her hand from here I'm gonna pull two fingers up so what I'm gonna do for the first one I am just going to take this finger right up and I'm going to stop it. And now I want to make a little oval shape because that's going to be my nail. If you want a different shape nail, remember you can do the shape of your choice. And then I'm going to pull this line down, but I'm not going all the way down. I'm going to stop there. The next finger that I'm going to do I'm going to go back down to this little kind of heel. This is actually a finger that's kind of curved over, but I'm going to go back down here. And now I'm going to pull a finger up that's going to stop right at her face. I'm going to make another nail. And then at the top of her nail, I'm going to pull this line all the way back at an angle. Now, I know the lines are overlapping a bit. When we paint them in, we are going to make sure that they don't overlap. But for now, we just want to make sure that we have the entire drawing exactly how it's supposed to be. So once you have that in, we are done with the drawing portion. Now we want to start to paint. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my entire background painted in. But I'm also going to actually paint over the entire thing. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want this painting to be really opaque. If you've ever seen pop art, the colors are really bright, really bold, and none of it is really transparent. It's really opaque. So we want to make sure that we get that, um, that we make sure our paintings are giving that vibe. So I am going to be doing my background yellow. So I'm going to paint my entire canvas yellow. Now, if you are doing your canvas a different color, then make sure that when you paint on top of the stencil that you're doing a bit of a lighter shade or a thinner shade. That way you don't lose your lines. But I'm using my biggest brush and I'm just using my chrome yellow as is. And I am going to paint my entire canvas, making sure that I get everything covered. And as you can see, I am painting right over my stencil, but I'm going back and forth, making sure that it's spread out really good. So remember, if you're doing another color, you wanna make sure that when you're painting on top of your stencil, that you keep the paint really thin that way you don't lose your lines. But if you're doing yellow, yellow's already a pretty transparent color, so it will go on just fine. All right, 
Now, once you have the entire canvas covered and everything is completely filled in, before we can add on the next steps, we do have to let this dry. So remember, as always, you can blow dry it with the blow dryer on the cool setting, or you can just give yourself about a 10 to 15 minute break. You know, it is 420, so you can always enjoy some 420 festivities um or you can grab yourself a drink some snacks but again you want to make sure you let this dry completely and then we'll start back on the next step in just a few three days later so now that our paintings are dry and our backgrounds are completely filled in we're going to go in with the first layer of the skin so i'm switching back to the same wide flat brush you can use whatever brush you're comfortable with and i'm going to show you how to mix up some different skin tones i'm going to actually show you that step with a different brush but i'm going to use my big brush to paint so if you like that burnt sienna as is you can use it as is if you want to lighten it you can add white and the more white you add the lighter it will be if you want to make it more of a caramel tone you can mix up brown yellow and white and it'll give you more of a medium caramel tone or if you want to go a bit darker you can mix up brown and a little bit of black the black does make it dark really quickly so you don't want to use a whole lot of it and that will give you a darker skin tone you can choose the skin tone of your choice and once you've chosen that um, you're going to, again, use your bigger brush to get your face and your fingers filled in. I'm going to be going for more of the caramel tone, so I am going to mix up some of my brown, some of my white, some of my yellow. And you want to make sure that you make enough of this so that you don't have to make any more. So make sure you mix up a really good pile of your skin tone. All right, now once you have the color of your choice, I'm gonna do the face and neck first. I'm not going to paint over any of the facial features this time. I'm only doing the actual skin. So I'm not gonna paint over the nose. I'm not gonna paint over the mouth or the smoke here. I'm just gonna do the face and the neck. So I'm gonna go in and do my neck first. And as you're doing this part, you wanna make sure that you're getting a really even layer of paint. You don't want your paint to be too bulky or, you know, just too much in any areas. You want to make sure you're going back and forth really nicely so that you can smooth it out. And then I'm going to also do my face. And remember, I'm going around my facial features. All right, so once you have your face and your neck in, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in my fingers. So remember this curve we did down here is a finger that's curved over. So you wanna make sure you paint that in, making it really even. And I'm going to paint my two fingers as well. So we wanna make sure that the fingers look like they're actually holding the smoke or what you're smoking. So the first finger, I am going to cover that completely. So I'm painting over the lines that overlapped it. I'm covering that one completely. Now you may still be able to see the lines. That's okay. We're going to end up doing two layers. So that's completely fine. And the second finger here, I'm going to do... So I'm not doing the nail, but I'm going to do the top of the finger that's above my smoke. And then I'm going to do underneath it. So you see how I skipped over there? I'm going to fill that in. Now, again, 
because this is pop art we really want the colors to be bold and opaque and really pop so we're going to end up doing a second layer but while that first layer dries we're going to go in and do some other details so i am going to go back to that medium brush that i was using for mixing you can use a medium brush or a smaller brush whichever one you're comfortable with and the first thing i'm going to do is i want to add in my smoke so i am just going to pick up just white paint and i'm just going to paint this in and you see how because we did that yellow background the white is just really standing out on it that's exactly what we want So I'm filling the entire cloud that we created. I'm going to fill that in completely with white. Now, before I'm finished with the white, I want to add it in one more spot. I am going to add it in the opening of the mouth. So kind of like where her teeth would be. I am just going to fill this in with just white. So once you have the cloud and the teeth filled in with white, what you're going to do is go ahead and wash your brush because we're going to add in the lips and the nails. Now for my lips, I want it to pop with red. If you look at most pop art paintings, um, they do have different lipsticks, but a lot of them have like red. So I want to do a very bright popping red and it's going to stand out really well on that yellow that we used to cover the just raw white canvas. So I'm just going to get the entire both lips filled in with my red. Now for my nails, I am going to make them green. Of course, the color of 420 is green. If you want to do a different color, it's completely up to you. I'm still using the same brush. I'm just going to wash that red off of it really well. And I'm going to mix up some yellow and blue. So I'm just taking a little bit of blue because I want this green to be pretty bright. And I'm mixing it in with some of my yellow. and I'm just gonna fill in both of my nails. Now, because my green has the yellow in it, it's still a little bit transparent. So I'm gonna end up doing two layers of this green, but I'm gonna get the first layer on there first that way we can let it dry. Now, I'm gonna go back into my face and I wanna do that second layer. So remember I said you wanna make sure you mix up enough paint so that you can do a second layer. If you didn't, that's okay. You just wanna make a little more of your shade so that we can do a second layer of everything. But you also want to make this shade a little bit lighter. So you're going to add a little more white to it if you did like the lighter brown or if you did the caramel shade. If you did the darker shade, you're going to add more brown to your mixture. So I'm going to go back into my mixture and this time I'm adding in a little more white. And I am going to start back on, I'm going to go in the order that um, I did the first layer in. So the first layer I did the neck. So I'm going to go in and do a very even layer of paint on the neck. And you can already see how that's a lot more opaque and um, just uh, pops a lot more than the first layer. So 
So I'm gonna go back in to my face. Remember, you're going around all of the facial features. All right, now, now that you have the face and neck done, we're gonna go back in and do the hand as well. So remember, we're doing this piece of the hand at the bottom that curves here. And then we're doing both fingers again. You really wanna make sure that you do both fingers again so that you can get those lines on this first finger here kind of covered up and as you're doing this part if anything gets outside of the line it's okay don't worry because we are going to be adding a really nice black outline to this because of course pop art is most of the time completely outlined in black and has like thicker black lines so we are going to be doing that as well all right now now that we have that finished remember i'm gonna go back in and add a second layer on the nails and i'm also going to fill in what i'm smoking so i am going to go back to that medium round brush and i'm going to do my nails first so remember i did green you can do the color of your choice i'm just adding a second layer on And then I am going to mix up. So I'm not gonna wash my brush because I was just using green. If you were using a different color, wash your brush. But I'm gonna mix up a darker brown to fill in what I'm smoking. So I'm gonna mix up some brown and a little bit of black. Remember the, dark, the black does turn it dark really quickly. So you don't need a whole lot. And I am just going to fill that in. And remember, you're not gonna paint on top of the first finger, but you are gonna paint on top of the second finger. That way, it actually looks like you're holding it. Now, while we give everything a second to dry um, before we start to add the black outline i'm going to go ahead and get the nostrils filled in um, for this part you can keep using the medium round brush if you're comfortable with that one if not you can switch to a smaller brush i'm going to switch to a smaller brush and from here on out i'm pretty much just using just black so i am going to fill in the nostrils first so getting those little crescents filled in. Getting this little nostril here filled in. And remember again, for this part, I am only using black. Now, I am gonna start to go in and outline things. If your painting is still super, super wet, then give it a second to dry before you start to outline. But I'm gonna start to go and outline things that should be dry. So for example, I'm gonna go in and outline my smoke. And you can see I'm doing like thicker black lines because again, most pop art has really nice bold black outlines so if you want them to be thinner you can keep them thin if you want some thicker lines feel free to make them a bit thicker one thing i'm also going to be doing as i am adding in these black outlines 
I'm going to be adding some additional lines just to give it that pop art look. So for example, wherever you put additional lines at, you want to make sure that you're following the shape that's already there. So for example, here, I'm going to follow this curve that's already there. And I'm going to add in a few extra lines right inside of my smoke. So you see, just kind of giving it some lines to make it pop. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Now, I'm gonna go back to the face because the face should be pretty dry. So I'm going to start to outline the face here. I'm gonna skip over what I'm smoking and do my chin. And remember the chin doesn't, if you lost your line, the chin doesn't go straight back. You stop before you get to the edge and then curve up and off. Now, one thing I'm gonna do, again, I'm adding in some additional lines just to make it pop more. I'm gonna make this line a little bit thicker here. So I'm gonna start from under the chin and I'm gonna pull, still following the same shape, but then I'm gonna pull it up. Everything between those lines, I'm gonna fill in with black. Now, these are all optional steps if you want to keep yours with just the original outline you can leave it as is i'm just going to be adding some additional ones to really make it pop now i'm going to go in on my lips so i am outlining the lips And I'm going to do the same thing to the lips, only underneath this bottom one. So I am going to make an additional line under here and fill that in. And I'll also outline where the teeth are. And I'm going to keep giving that a second to dry the um, what she's smoking in the nails. While that's dry, I'm going to do the fingers. So I'm going to come back down to this finger that's curved here. And I don't take this one all the way off the canvas. If you would like to, you definitely can. I just kind of stop it right before I get to the end of the canvas. For the next finger, I'm not going to do this one that sits back. I'm not going to do that second finger. I'm going to do this first one that sits more towards the front. So I'm going to start underneath the finger and remember that line goes right down to here and then i'm going to do the top of the finger and remember that line goes right off the canvas And of course, I'm gonna also outline the nail just to make it pop. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other finger. But remember, you're gonna skip over and outline there. And same thing here, you're gonna skip over and then down and outline. And I'm going to outline this nail as well. And the last thing I'm going to outline is, of course, what we're smoking, our 420 treats. I'm going to outline that as well. And I'm going to give her extra little detail. I'm going to give her a little mold right here. Let's make her, let's make her really pop. 
Now, if there's anything else that you want to add to yours, if you want to add any extra outlines, um, if you want to add any words or anything, remember, it's completely up to you. You can really make this your own. But the very last thing you want to do is simply signing your painting. So I am just going to take a little bit of white paint on my smallest brush and I'm going to assign my initials right in the corner. And you now have your very own 420 pop art. Thank you all so, so much for painting with me today. I hope that you enjoyed painting your 420 pop art and that you have a great 420 and celebrate responsibly. And as always, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And I will see you in the next tutorial.